Are you sensible when you go to a Disney park? Do you buy like everything you could possibly buy? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Gregory Gage and this is a Florida haul video. So this is all of the stuff that Craig and I picked up in Florida, not including the Harry Potter stuff. In here I have a bag full of Harry Potter snacks from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So that is going to be done in a separate video where we try all of this stuff and see what we think of this strange tasting stuff. Keep your eyes peeled for that, it will be a separate video. So, it was gonna be a Disney World haul, but we got so much stuff from outside of Disney at like the Outlet Mall, Box Lunch, Hot Topic, and also Universal, so I wanted to just round it all into one. A lot of it is going to be snacks, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, where shall I start? Where shall I start? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start with snacks, because there are a lot of snacks. One of my favourite places to go in Epcot is Japan because they have all of the really cute merchandise like Pokemon, Hello Kitty, all of the different like anime, I don't know. Anyway, love all of that stuff. And food, they have the cutest little snacks. They've got like Pocky and everything. But this, I saw at the till and I just wanted to try it because I have never seen anything like it before. And double checked with them that it is chocolate because I, I've got no idea where on that it says chocolate. But it looks like they, they'd be like colorful chocolate things. So there's this, I'm gonna try this. Meiji Apollo? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they're tiny. Look how small those little chocolate things are in there. It smells like strawberry. Okay, that makes sense because there are strawberries on the top. Let's have a go at this chocolate. Look, it's tiny. Got a good strawberry flavor. Not bad, $5.49. I think for what it is, it's probably quite expensive, but mm, stuck in my teeth, but it's really good. The other thing that I absolutely love is Little Moons or Moki. I think it's called Mocky. Got two packs here. There are these different flavors. This is strawberry and this is mixed berry flavor. There's a, some of them are strawberry and some of them are blueberry. And this one, I think one of them is exploded. So I'm gonna open up the exploded one. Smells really good. That one there at the bottom has definitely been squidged in the plane on the way home. These are like little rice things, rice cake things. I have no idea how they make this out of rice. Not a clue. They are stretchy and as you can see, filled with stuff. Let's have a go. Mmm, this is the blueberry flavor. It's really good. See how fresh it is. Rice cake with berry flavored bean paste. Sounds really attractive, but that's the very pasty. But it's good. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the Moki from Japan in Epcot. Epcot has the cutest little pavilions of all the different countries around the world. And yeah, Japan, definitely a favorite. Okay, next thing, the cookies. The cookies, the cookies, the cookies, the cookies. The cookies are so good. These are my favorite cookies ever in existence. These are the mini bake shop cookies. Come in this sort of packaging here. And look at that, that's unreal. Look how fat that is. That is how all cookies should be. I'm not gonna eat one now because we've just been to the cinema and I ate one in the cinema to myself. And this is actually a serving size. It's supposed to be for four people. Never gonna actually happen. Next are Rice Krispie Treats. These are so good. We ate about five of these every day when we were in Disney. This one is just an ice cream shaped Rice Krispie Treat. Really, really good. These are about $5 each. So again, not particularly cheap, but they are very, very tasty and I love them. Perfect for snacking. Next thing is another Rice Krispie Treat. This one is a birthday sprinkles mini Mickey shape head one. And then they also sell them by the box. So we got a box of them. This was about $19, I think. These are so good. The coconut patties are another favorite of ours. These taste so good. You can tell they taste really good because there's hardly any left in this box. Very coconutty. That is tasty looking. Desiccated coconut surrounded in chocolate and filled with sugar. Mm, so good. Really, really thick. It's like a bounty. Mm. You want this? Craig? Hmm? I thought you did. I knew Craig would want one. There is another cookie. This one is a sugar cookie. A mini Mouse sugar cookie. Let me just finish this. Okay, the next one we've got is it's in the shape of a Mickey head and it's just a standard sugar cookie, red icing, polka dots. I'm not gonna eat this now because I've had far too many cookies today. Then, then, Disney Parks have got a huge Pride collection, which I think is amazing. It's so good to see Pride merch in Disney parks and it's so much better than anything you can get in the Disney store because it's like park exclusive. 
and they have treats. My love for Rice Krispie treats continued with the Deep Fried Mickey Head Rice Krispie treats. They are rainbow coloured, full of sugar. Probably about like your daily or weekly intake of sugar in one of these, but they taste so good. They are my favourite Rice Krispie treat they've ever done. And they're rainbow. Continuing on with the treats, we've got lots of popcorn. Disney popcorn is the best popcorn in the world. Loads of different flavours. So this is the churro flavoured popcorn and it literally tastes exactly like the churros that they sell in the parks. Chocolate caramel with sea salt birthday cake flavoured popcorn. I've never tried either of these or this, but I know that birthday cake flavoured things are really, really good. Confetti popcorn. And I wanted to get this because it's, it's like a rainbow. It's, it kind of goes with all of the pride stuff. Popcorn is healthy. Probably not when it's, it looks like this but it tastes better. These I've never seen before. These are really, really thick bars of chocolate. You can see they're thick. They have got peanut butter on the inside. I only bought two bars, so I haven't tried this yet. Reese's peanut butter cup miniatures. Then they had all these brand new snacks that they've never had or I've never seen before. Dark chocolate covered almonds, chocolate covered peanuts. These are really good, so I'm sure these are gonna be really, really good. And then there's a whole Chippendale range of snacks. I picked up two bags of these. These are just little, Roasted nut mixes, mountain mix. So I got two bags. Take a break with Chip and Dale snacks made especially for you. From the first nibble to the last bite, these snacks are fun to eat and the perfect traveling treat. Chip and Dale's fruit and nut mix. Pretty much says it all, you don't really need explaining that. Goofy does, there's loads of different Goofy like snacks you can get as well, little snack bags. But I picked up this bag of sour balls. I think they do loads of Goofy's Candy Company stuff in Disneyland Paris, but I think that's all they do in terms of like Disney branded packaged snacks. The Outlet Mall. Okay, so we went to the Outlet Mall and it was great. We I only went to one store in the Outlet Mall. You will see that in the vlogs when you watch the vlogs. If you check out the vlogs, I'll put links at the end of this video if you want to check out the first vlog. We went to the Outlet Mall and they had socks. I like socks. These were a steal at $3.99. They were crazy cheap. It's pretty much just grumpy and dopey. Next from the outlet mall. I'm saying outlet mall, but it's literally just the character warehouse, the Disney character warehouse in the outlet mall that is really close to Walt Disney World. So if you are going to Walt Disney World and you want to go to the outlets, get an Uber to the one that's closest to Disney. That's where the character warehouse is and they have so much stuff. I got clothes from the outlet mall. First thing, I got loads of compliments on this as well. It's a t-shirt. And uh, it's like blueprints of Cinderella Castle. Like $10 or something. It was really, really, really cheap. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen pictures of this already. I've already posted about it. Nice coral sort of color. And you've got Mickey Mouse on there. And there's palm trees and leaves and sea and stuff. Craig got the kind of matching. So it's got the detailing in the same pattern on the inside. Blue denim style looking. And it's got a Mickey embroidered on the pocket there. All of these were roughly like 10 to $13, these tops. This is the snack top, which again, you will eventually see in the vlogs, but it's covered in Disney snacks. Love. And it looks very good on Craig. Next from the character warehouse, this, I got this for an absolute steal and this is going to be given away on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me on Instagram already, make sure you go over and follow me. There's the information here. It is this is the Loungefly Park Exclusive Disney Parks teacup bag. Very cute. It was originally $75, but in the outlet mall, it was $37.99. So I thought, this is a good prize. People are gonna love it. I will just get it and, and do a giveaway on my Instagram page. So I'm gonna stuff a load of different things in there from Disney in there as well. Definitely go follow me on Instagram and you will be in with a chance of winning this when I post about the giveaway. And good luck if you enter. And then the final thing I got from the outlet mall was this. It's a Danielle Nicole bag. It is Ariel and Eric on the Kiss the Girl boat. Very sweet with all the dangling fish. And then there's a dangling little flounder there at the bottom as well, which is very, sweet. Love this bag. This was a total steal as well. This was like $30. Okay, going back to Disney World, I got this spirit jersey from Disney. This is available in the outlet mall that I've now found out. It's like $20 in the outlet mall, but I bought it for full price. I love the color. It's like a weird sort of blue. I don't know what kind of blue it is. It's like a washed out kind of blue, but I like that it's got this detail on the sleeves and on the little back. It says Walt Disney World. Love it. 
then I also got this one, which I've pretty much been living in since I got home. It's the black version of it. Now, absolutely, definitely, 100% a spirit jersey convert. It's a new obsession. I need to get spirit jerseys every time I go to Disney. Then we went into Gaston's Tavern and picked up this as one of the things. So there's a really, really nice like brew drink that they have in there. And it comes in this souvenir cup, so I got this. Let's go to the Pride stuff again. So much Pride stuff in Disney. They had the plushes. I love my Mickey plush. He looks exactly the same as Mickey Memories in terms of his sculpt. And you know I love his sculpt if you've seen any of my Mickey Memories reviews. And this was really, really important to me. It was released in the UK while I was on the plane coming to Florida. So someone very, very kindly, Josephine, very, very kindly messaged me on Instagram to say that she'd picked one up for me and she'd send it to the hotel so it was there when I arrived. If you checked out my first vlog, you will see I was very excited to have it waiting for me at the hotel. When I got there, I was thrilled. He's really, really cute. I love him. He's literally me in plush form because gay, rainbow, Mickey Mouse, me, me, this is me, meet me as a plush. More pride stuff. There was a pen. I got a pen. A pride pen. It's a very cute little Mickey pride pen. You can see it's a Disney Parks pen. It's got a little lid on the end. Very cute. I had to have it. Then there was a little keychain. So I got myself a little Mickey Mouse pride keychain. It's one of the really nice new ones. They do all these like thick keychains. Look how thick that is. It's quite heavy. So it will weigh down your keys quite a bit. But it's got a little dangly bit on there as well that's got the Walt Disney World kind of logo on it. But I love this feels good in your hand. And then on the back of it, it's got Cinderella Castle. Love, 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 love. Then, pins. We got some pins. The Walt Disney World Castle Pride pin here. Very nice. I love it. There is the Mickey Mouse Pride pin here that matches the key ring really, really nicely. And then the final little Pride pin here is covered in little gems. I love this a lot. I've done a similar one that didn't have the gems on it and the lines were horizontal like that. So this is slightly different to the one they've done before, but really, really cute. I love it. And I think 10% of all of the sales of their Pride merch went to a charity over in the States that supports LGBT people. Big thumbs up to you, Disney, for supporting LGBT rights. Yes! Next with the pins, we've got the Flower and Garden Festival pin. Craig has never done the Flower and Garden Festival, so he wanted to get this to like kind of commemorate that. Then, Disney Vacation Club are releasing new pins every month. So this was the Mickey and Minnie one that we got, but the new one for June is actually Ariel. I've got a picture of it, let me find the picture of it. It's really, really nice. So, Travel with Jen on Instagram is gonna be hunting that down for me. So that is the picture of the Ariel one, so you can see. So that's the one we've got, and there's the Ariel one that is out at the end of June. Very excited and hopeful that Jen can get it for me because I'll be very, very pleased. It's Ariel. We were actually really, really well behaved this time on our trip. We didn't buy loads of stuff. We kind of just stuck with things that we really, really love, clothing that we are obviously going to wear, snacks that we are going to eat. We didn't come back with huge and huge and huge amounts of stuff. So before we've gone and I bought like figurines. We've been good. We've been good. Also from Disney World, also got this. I love this t-shirt. Really nice yellow design on the front of it. It's very 70s kind of inspired and it fits in really well with their pride merchandise because you've got all the different colors of the rainbow on there in that design. Moving back to Japan in Epcot, it was really hot when we were there. Dying kind of heat. And I picked up a fan. Oh, this feels so good. We met Maria from Mini Maria Mouse on Instagram, but she's also just started her new clothing line. Lake Buena Visitors. There's a little card for it, so check them out. She very kindly gave Craig and I this to infinity buzz t-shirt. These are really, really light fabrics, so you could wear this in Disney World and you wouldn't be dying with heat. So that's the buzz light you won. There's also the Lightning McQueen one, which is very cute. I need to wear this in Paris because they've got the whole Cars little area. And I also need to go to Disneyland California for Cars Land, where this will fit in perfectly. It's a really nice light fabric. If you get the chance, I'll put links in the description down below if you want to check out Lake Buena Visitors. Then our lovely friend Serena from Living by Disney. She picked up this little button for us and I love it, I really love it. Because Hollywood Studios is one of my favorite parks and it turned 30 at the beginning of May, I think it was. They had this whole like celebration to celebrate it turning 30 and they were giving out buttons on the first day. Obviously we weren't there but Serena was and she picked up this 30th anniversary button 
for Hollywood Studios, which is really, really sweet. It's got Mickey Mouse on it, the new logo of Hollywood Studios. It's very, very sweet, and it was very kind of you, Serena, to pick this up for me. So thank you, and check her out. Seriously, check her out. Back to Disney World again. Pride again. I got a new phone case. It's the Mickey Mouse Pride phone case. I'm gonna put it on my phone now. I've been waiting to film this video so I could put it on my phone because I wanted to show you guys. Look at it, it's so nice. This is like, my favourite phone case ever. Um, for anyone wondering, I have an iPhone XS Max. It is perfect. And look how nice it looks with Mickey on the back of there and the rainbow on the back of there. That is perfect. That is what I call a nice phone case. Mm. Moving on, we got two things from Hot Topic. Craig got this Loungefly backpack. It is the Dumbo backpack, which is gorgeous. I love Loungefly backpacks, and this one is just the sweetest little design. It's got a little circus tent on the top of the bag there. It's got the little design of Dumbo there, the little detailing in red around there. Very sweet. Then I got from Hot Topic, I got this RuPaul pop. It's a RuPaul's Drag Con exclusive, and it's RuPaul, the Diamond Edition. I'm a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, so love having the pop. I love box lunch. I probably like it more than Hot Topic. I used to really love Hot Topic, Topic, but I didn't find very much in there this time that was like for me, so box lunch it is. First up, I got these socks. These are little Aladdin socks. This is the carpet from Aladdin. These were like $9.90. Then there is this Aladdin shirt I got. Really light. I loved wearing this in the park because it was so hot, and even though it was black, it was cool. It's a really light sort of fabric, but the design on this shirt is really nice. It's like a short sleeved shirt, really easy to wear and very colorful. Craig got himself a Slytherin t-shirt because we were heading to Universal soon after we went to the outlet mall and all around the Florida mall and stuff. So this is Craig's green Slytherin shirt. Then I found this and if it's got like anything Little Mermaid related on it, I'm gonna buy it obviously. There was this t-shirt and it's Scuttle's little Scuttle's Treasure Appraisal Co. I love the design, it's, it's just sweet. I love these sorts of things where they like take the characters and they like invent little jobs for them. And then this, this, I had to have this. I absolutely had to have this. Apparently women's, but it's like a men's shape. It's definitely a men's shape, but I did have to get it in an extra large for it to fit me. I love the blue color of it and it's The Little Mermaid, but it's given like new meaning to the song lyrics in Part of Your World. And it is just this really gorgeous picture of Ariel underneath a rainbow with the phrase ready to stand underneath it at the bottom. And I love it. The color is really nice. Is it not just like a really nice color? I was really good when we went to Universal as well. I didn't buy loads of stuff in Universal. I bought one thing. I got Scooby-Doo. I got a Scooby-Doo plush. This was only $30, so really actually pretty cheap. Scooby-Doo, he's really soft. He's like the perfect travel companion. I love Scooby. Very cute. Mm. I got some Pandora charms, so I'm going to show you guys those. This one is the Cinderella Castle charm. They are definitely the best when it comes to bracelets and the quality and just everything. It's a really nice charm. This is the Mickey Mouse Club charm. Really detailed. I love like the design on the front of it. It's exactly the same as the logo that they had for the Mickey Mouse Club. Got little diamantes all around the outside of the Mickey Mouse Club design there. And then on the back of it, you can see it says Mickey Mouse Club on there as well. That is a really nice little charm to add to your charm bracelet. The last one I had to have, the Walt and Mickey charm. I love this. It's another little dangly one. It's exactly the same as the statue that's in front of Cinderella Castle in Magic Kingdom. And it's so cute. I just had to have it. And then the absolute final thing that we got while we were away was a bargain. Oh my goodness, it was a bargain. I really wanted to get this when I was in Disneyland Paris, but it was like 120 euros. So I didn't get it when I was in Paris, and I'm glad I didn't get it when I was in Paris. Went to Florida. This was all around the park for $90, I think it was. And I wanted it then, but then a couple of days before we left, found it reduced in like all of their stores temporarily. So it might go back up to 90, I'm not sure. But it was reduced to $50, and then we got our DVD discount on top of it so we got an extra 20% off the $50 and basically we worked it out it was like 32 pounds so I had to have this I love it it's gorgeous the Mickey and Minnie vintage style set the enclosed limited release Mickey and Minnie Mouse collectible plush dolls have been beautifully recreated from the original 1933 patterns acquired by the Disney archives in 2012 there is a good little meaning behind these dot the I'm not calling them dolls, they're not dolls. These plush figurine collectibles. So vintage looking, but I love them. They kind of remind me of Stife, but it's not Stife. Inspired by the original Charlotte Clark plush doll patterns. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we got from Florida, apart from the Harry Potter snacks. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss 
the upload of that video because that's going to be fun. That'll be Craig and I trying all the Harry Potter snacks. Hope you've enjoyed checking out all the stuff that we bought from Florida. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out the Florida vlogs. They're going up at 7 p.m. every Friday this month until they're done. So yeah, check them out. Mwah. Goodbye.